hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is could not init 3d system shader model 6.0 is required so if you're receiving this error with the game then please follow the steps shown in this video so first of all open file explorer in your computer now once you open file explorer you have to close the game so if the game is running close the game first and then go to file explorer and then go to documents folder open my games folder open the farming simulator 2025 folder now over here you can see game.xml file make a right click on the game.xml open with notepad and then scroll down and find this render d3 d underscore 12 so over here you can instead of 12 you can type in 11 over here d3 d underscore 11 now go to file now click on save and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then this time uh, you can just open this game.xml once again open with notepad and this time you can try, type in 10 and then you can go to file and then click on save and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check now you can launch the game still not working make a right click once again go to properties and this time type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working then type in dash dx10 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then update your graphic card driver so perform a clean installation of your graphic card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error and you should be able to launch the game successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel